Saved views are a great way to see filtered contacts, companies, deals, and other object types inside of HubSpot. Today, we're going to show you just how easy they are to create and use. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. Saved views are a tool in HubSpot that I use all the time. They're great whether you're a salesperson looking for a new list of leads to reach out to that day, or somebody in management that wants to see a quick list of customers your team closed last month. There's almost unlimited use cases for them, and the great news is they're available whether you're on the HubSpot free version or an enterprise hub. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and let's dive in and see how we can use these. So today I'm in the contacts view. You just get here by clicking on contacts and contacts. It's simple to remember. And you'll notice that I've got a few saved views across the top. So as you save views, you'll have the option to add them right here for quick and easy access. So what a saved view is, is essentially a filter that you've set up and a series of columns that you've associated with that filter. And you've saved it for either your use or your team's use later on. So in this contacts view, you'll notice that we've got a few filters across the top that are defined by HubSpot that people use often. And then we've also got this all filters option. So to show you this tool, I'm just going to walk through a super simple example where I wanna see all of the customers we have in our system that are assigned to me as their record owner. So I'm gonna use this contact owner and I'm gonna select me. Me is this dynamic field inside of HubSpot that makes it really easy for you to create a view that your whole team can use. So if I'm looking at this view, it's gonna show me my contacts, but if Allie were looking at this view, another person on my team, she would see her contacts. So that way I don't have to create a separate view for myself and a separate view for her. So that me uh, feature here is really cool. So I'm gonna select that. And then I wanna see all of the customers and we track that based on life cycle stage. So I'm gonna go into all filters here and I'm gonna hit and here. And I'm gonna say life cycle stage is any of customer. So this is gonna show up all of the customers. So in our sample portal here, I can just exit out of this, it'll save. I've got two customers in our sample portal that have their life cycle stage set to customer as they should and the contact owner is me. So now I've set my filters. The next step here is to set up your rows here, your columns. So we're gonna to go to actions, edit columns. And let's say, I've, so these are the columns on the right hand side that I've already got selected. Let's say I want to rearrange some of these. Let's say I really wanna care about the last activity date. So when was the last time somebody talked to them? And let's see what else we've got here. Let's say I wanna know the date they became a customer. So I'm gonna check this box. It'll add it to the bottom of my list here. And I'm gonna move that closer up here as well. So I'm gonna apply that. So now you'll notice that these columns have changed for us so I can see last activity date for the contact and I can see the date that that contact became a customer. So now I've got my filters the way that I want them and my columns all set up. So the next step here is to save it. So it'll say read only because I'm editing a read only but it'll allow me to save as new down here. And I'm just gonna say my customers, if I could type today. And I'm gonna share this with everyone. So anybody in the portal will be able to select this filter or select the save view. So I'm gonna hit save. And you'll notice it automatically came up to the top here. The first 50 you create will come up here. Otherwise you can go to all views if you're looking for a view that somebody else created. Let's say I want this MMA and I'll pop up here too. You can also move things around. So let's say I really care about my customers and I want that to be first. So I can move that there. And the next time I come into this contacts view, I'll be able to just quickly click on this and it'll populate my filters and columns. So this is available for any object type inside of HubSpot. So I was showing you with contacts, but you can do the same thing with companies, deals. You can do it whether you're on the board view or the list view. And then if you've got other types of objects in here, like we've got some custom objects in here for shipments, 
if you're using some of the more advanced hubs and you're using payments or if you're using service hub and using tickets any type of object type in here you can create saved views for us you can start to see how really powerful it is and how you might be spending a lot of time using saved views once you really get into hubspot and using it so that's all there is to it that's how you can easily see filtered lists of contacts companies deals and any object type inside of hubspot for more HubSpot tips, tricks, and how-tos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and get on our list for our new newsletter right below in the description. See you next time.